What a pretty pussycat. Yo, I... Very Spartan. Where am I gonna put it? Very Spartan. I don't think I can do that. It's already open. It's blocked up with somebody's bed. It's blocked up with somebody's bed. Where am I going to put it? So as soon as Hoagie gets that battery working, we're set. I'm afraid not. We still need a diamond for the main unit. And your friend in the future needs power too, if she's still alive. Alive? Get me out of here. I like trees and everything, but this one has got to go. This beautiful 4,000 carat diamond can be yours today for the special rock bottom introductory price of $2 million. The number to call is 1-800-STAR-WARS. Don't miss this amazing once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Ahem. Late night? I'm trying to save the world from a nasty tentacle. Well, thanks. You've been really helpful. Couch Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Um, uh, I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. What's the number, sir? Um, it's 846-427-35327. I'm sorry, the Credotron shows that account to be empty.
Except for those beef squigglies, I got everything I want out of there. Mmm, that buzzing fluorescent light makes the beef jerky look especially attractive. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design, so I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. <sighs> I can't even do this right. Hi, my name's Bernard. What's yours? Dwayne. Isn't that depressing? Gee, you look depressed. What clued you in, Brainiac? The stooped shoulders and long face? I'm having a crisis here, a warehouse of anguish. I'm a novelty goods designer by trade. I've come up with some fabulous ideas. The exploding lollipop, itching powder gum, and reverse 3D glasses, to name a few. The problem is, no one likes my designs. I send them all over the world and no one responds. I just wish someone would say they liked one just once. Whoa, woe is me. I like your design ideas. Well, I didn't mean you. Maybe I can help cheer you up. Oh, I can hardly wait. Why don't you try whistling a happy tune? I invented a whistle that turned your lips green. Nobody liked it. Ugh. Maybe some calisthenics would help. Last time I tried calisthenics, I ruptured my spleen. Ugh. Let's discuss philosophy. Okay, here's my philosophy. Life is completely pointless, especially mine. Nietzsche had some interesting ideas along those lines. Oh, who cares? Philosophers are all failures like me who couldn't make it in a real profession. Nice music they pipe in here, huh? It's from the Elevator Classics series. It seems like this one tune has been on all day. I've never been so depressed in my life. Uh, never mind. Green! Bernard! What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's gonna go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? What do you suppose Purple's up to now? Well, he wants to take over the world, so I figure he's up to something devious. Conducting cryogenic experiments on small animals? I wouldn't doubt it, but I was thinking more along the lines of politics. Want to help me save the world? I'm afraid to leave the room. In fact, I don't think I can even move from this spot. Purple scares the daylights out of me. How's your new band doing? Green tea and the sushi platter? We're doing great. We've decided to really capitalize on our strongest quality as a band. Intoxicating three-part vocal harmony? Volume, man, volume. We have a chance to win a Grimy Award as the loudest new band. We're pulling out all the stops.
Weren't you looking for a new guitarist a while back? Yes, but we decided to go with a guy who plays power tools instead. We can generate a lot more sound that way. Are you working on an album? Yeah, we're doing a CD called Rap on the Forehead. I've got a few tracks hooked up through the stereo if you want to hear them. Have you gotten any airplay? No, we're a little too experimental for most radio stations, but we have a huge following in the club scene. That's great. Yeah. Why the litter box? Have you got a cat? Don't ask. How does a tentacle sit in a beanbag chair? Oh, that part's easy. It's getting back out of it that's hard. Can you actually use that bowling ball? No, Purple brought that in here after he grew arms. He got really discouraged, though, because he doesn't have fingers. Well, see you later, Green. Yeah! Good luck in saving the world, B-Man! There's no label. It's probably blank. Wow! This is loud. <laughs> Whew. Powerful looking speaker. Hoagie would really love these. Wow, this is loud. Whew. Uh oh, this looks like it might work. It looks too heavy for me to pick up. Hey, aren't you Weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I... Hey, do I know you? Yeah, I'm Bernard Benulli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Hmm, nope, doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. So you gave up the crazy military commando thing? I'm much better now. I don't have those... those bad thoughts anymore. Now I collect stamps. That's quite a nice collection. Can I have it? No. I mean, uh, no. They mean a lot to me. Sometimes I think they're the only friends I've got. Nice hamster. Does he do tricks? No, he just sits there. I used to have a really smart hamster, but something happened to him. What happened to the old hamster? I... I don't remember. When I try, 
All I can think of is a flash of light and this horrible sound. What was the horrible sound? It was sort of like, ding. Oh, God, I hear it in my dreams till this day. That hamster really should get some exercise. Well, Dad puts him to work down in the basement sometimes. But then he starts sweating, and then he gets wet, and then he gets cold, and then he refuses to work. Your dad or the hamster? Are you making fun of me? No, I... I get upset when people make fun of me. I just meant... Oh, it makes me so mad. I just want to... Relax. I want to relax. I'll be okay if I just focus on my stamps. Are all your hobbies this fascinating? I don't have any other hobbies. These stamps are my whole life. If anything were ever to have it to happen to them... How are the folks? Well, Dad's in the basement doing an experiment. Mom's in the next room spying on a honeymoon. Ted's in the front yard. Holding up a bowl of lard? Well, it's a birdbath, actually, but it rhymes better your way. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. Peace be with you. Jeepers! He's reading the Wall Street Journal. Creepy. Must be an Edison. It looks awful heavy. It's signed, Edna, thanks for giving me the fever. It looks like a physics professor I knew in the second grade. Ooh, baby, what a man. You ain't kidding, precious. Don't even think about it. Something strange is going on in there. Get away from that! Excuse me. What is it? I'm rather... Say, aren't you Bernard Bernoulli? Yes, that's right. I knew it! You broke into our mansion a few years ago to save your little friend. What did you come for this time? I'm trying to keep a tentacle from conquering the world. Really? How nice. How's Dr. Fred doing? Well, he's still upset about the family financial situation, seeing that it's his fault and all. But he seems a lot better now that he stopped sleepwalking. How did he wreck the family finances? Well, we should have made millions on the computer game they made about us. But the resident genius locked the contract in the safe in his office and forgot the combination. What's wrong with sleepwalking? Ordinarily nothing. 
but when Fred sleepwalks, he remembers the combination to the safe. I'd find him in the office, opening it, screaming like a cat in the oven, and slamming it again. Something about what's in there really scares him. Unfortunately, I was never able to catch the combination since he works it so fast. How did he manage to stop sleepwalking? He stopped sleeping. Fred drinks a lot of coffee. Me, I only drink decaf. I was just admiring your statue. Thank you. It's been in the Edison family since colo colonial times. One of Fred's ancestors carved it. This is quite an array of gadgetry you have here. Yes, it's the best surveillance system in the state. Is that a Plexus 7000 VCR? It sure is. It's got a dual tape speed motor with cobalt casing. Don't touch it. Are those xenophobe crystal matrix monitors? They sure are. They're so clear you can see the fleas on the bedroom walls. Don't touch. Well, enough about your equipment. Let's talk about yours. <laughs> I'll let you get back to what you are doing. Come back any time, you big hunk. Hee <laughs>